I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Got two beautiful peppers to do a side-by-side -side comparison today. Jeff Hobbs is the grower. Uh, I've got a yellow crackberry. Now this is the yellow crackberry. Yellow what? Crackberry. Unsure of the genetics. A couple things that they're thinking it might be, but they're not exactly sure. But beautiful pepper. Um, this is the crackberry. Francis Gagnon is the creator of this bottle. And then this is the uh, Justin White uh, from White Hot Peppers. This is his WHP 029. I don't know, I like names like that. Makes it sound like a weapon. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side with heat and taste comparison. Um, now, I spoke to Jeff Hobbs, he said that this crackberry was the hottest pepper he that he's uh, hottest. Uh, I think that's what he said. Let me hold on. no, excuse me. This is the one that he said was the hottest peach pies he's had in years. So hopefully it's a screamer. And then tomorrow, you guys, I have all these. Uh, you guys know what these are these are the uh, RB003 Ross Barber creation. These I'm doing the uh, ten round boxing uh, video tomorrow. What a great pepper. I'm almost bummed out about eating that one. It's so perfect. By the way, I said, I made a post real quick on on, uh, on uh, Instagram asking which people thought was the best phenotype of these two peppers. And I think we came down to the, cons uh, the conclusion that the top half of this and the bottom half of this, if you could put this on the top of that pepper, it'd be perfect. But still, these are great peppers. So that's tomorrow. All right, so no more further ado. We're going to do the crackberry first, uh, and then we'll do the WHP 029. For those that have been paying attention to my, sur my pepper surgery skills, please watch this one. Yeah, I'm amazing at it. It's a skill. I'm not even joking. Here's the interior of this gorgeous crackberry. Very nasty looking pod. So we're going to eat the uh, crackberry first. Thank you, Jeff Hobbs. Thank you guys for watching. Thank God it's Friday. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. It was uh, fruity and bitter. There were no floral notes at all. It was just fruity up front and then turned bitter about halfway through chewing it up. Now they believe that hurtberry pepper is part of the genetics of the crackberry, so I'm not quite sure. But um, it does have a good burn. It's a throat burn. Not getting me in the mouth at all, really. It's just kind of focusing on my throat. It's a hot pepper for sure. I'm going to cut this open and talk about this Peach WHP 029 while we're waiting for the heat to build some more on the, uh, on the crack bag. See, there are some people that wait to see my pepper cutting skills. Wow, this placenta is gnarly. Beautiful interior. All right, so uh, the heat is kind of tapered off, or at least peaked. Probably uh, somewhere from a six and up for a non-chilean, or for a chilean. All right, here's the uh, WHP from Justin White.
like the taste of the first one better. That was fruity also. Not as fruity. The peach wasn't as fruity as the crackberry. Um, certainly uh, spicy though. It's a hot pepper. Um, so the fruitiness wasn't, it wasn't as fruity as the crackberry. It was still fruity and a little bitter. So it sort of had some of the similar characteristics that the both peppers, both were fruity and both were bitter, but different tastes, completely different. Now, the heat on this is in my mouth now, so it's not just burning my, my throat, got hurt from the crackberry. And the uh, WHP 029 is kind of attacking my mouth now, so I'm getting in the mouth and the throat, which is good. Some great questions on this morning's video. Um, I did a video this morning, part four of uh, Pepperology, and we're gonna be doing part five probably this weekend. There's a bunch of great new questions, and it seems like a pretty good series. There's a lot of interest in it. I think of people are gaining a lot of knowledge. And knowledge is power, it's a good thing. Um, so that was a really fun uh, side by side because they burned, they tasted very different and they burned in different places. So I'm really getting it. Um, I think the crackberry, uh, the uh, WHP 029 is a hotter pepper than the crackberry. No two ways about that. Um, It might even still be climbing a little bit. I'm getting, really getting an attack on my tongue. My, my tongue is kind of doing a pulsating thing. It totally is. I kind of prefer a throat burn than a, than a mouth burn, but as long as I'm burning somewhere, I'm okay with it. A lot of interest in our meat sticks, people. Thank you guys so much for your purchases. Uh, Yep, they sold out last night and quickly. So uh, we're working on uh, restocking and getting a, we're, we're new, there's a new product, so we're kind of new, working on a few things. But you guys are gonna love it. Thank you for your support. Uh, the heat on the uh, WHP 029 is gonna be probably a seven to 10 versus the, it's a definitely a, a step up in heat uh, from the uh, crackberry. Absent in both of those pods are any notes of citrus flavors, which I get a lot sometimes in, in yellow pods and orange pods and peach pods, but absent in that completely. Now, I'm burning on the sides of my cheek and my mouth. So this is kind of a migratory burn. It's moving all over the place. It's a beautiful thing. So this weekend, don't forget to join me this weekend. I've got the boxing match. If you've ever seen that, go back and look at a video from five years ago where I do 10 rounds of, of the hottest peppers. You'll see the format I'm using. These are the pods I'm going to be munching on tomorrow. They're uh, absolutely incredible. It's the RB003. And these are my two favorite phenotypes of all of them. Where is it? These phenotypes are just so perfect. They really are, they're just the perfect pepper. Um, awesome pods, Jeff Hobbs. Jeff Hobbs is a great grower, he's a good guy. Um, here's the funny thing, this is an exciting season for me because I've been watching pods, and I've been watching his Facebook feed for years and years. I've never had any of his pods. And every time he posts a picture, it's almost like, they can't be real, it's like computer generated. They're just perfect. His pods are always, his phenotypes are just huge and stunning. And uh, so this is the first year I've been able to eat pods from Jeff, so I'm excited about that. Um, I still have these two also that I have not reviewed yet. These are Orange Dougala Inception. And these are Brian Townsend seed stock. This one in particular is a gorgeous pod. Right? Isn't that pretty? So I'll probably eat that this weekend as well. But it's going to be a pod heavy we uh, weekend with challenges and whatnot. Plenty of whatnot, people. Uh, I love some whatnot. Everybody loves some whatnot. We're going to wrap it up right now in the description box. Jeff Hobbs, please check him out. He's a great grower, and he just grows some smoke. So if you want to get some great pods, that's where to do it. Uh, right there is the pepper. Click the pepper when you do. We are doing this together. Uh, if you don't want to miss a video uh, because spicy content's your thing, then don't miss a video because spicy content's your thing. Click the bell for notification, but visit us a lot so you don't miss anything. Right there is the Lifeboat, my brother's channel about victory over addiction. Addiction sucks. And if you've got an addiction or somebody you love or care about has an addiction, please go check that out. Life's too short to be shackled. Right there, more videos. It's going to be a great weekend.
I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.